Hey guys, it's Josh from Stray Angel Films, and I'm here with our Ronin and our Ronin M. So, as you may know, gimbal stabilizers all work on the same general principle. They stabilize the camera along three axes, so while you're moving the rig, the camera stays stationary in relation to those axes. You can use it by yourself as a single operator, or you can use it with the included remote control. So, with this transmitter, you can adjust any of the three axes in relation to the gimbal while you're shooting. Now, what are the differences between the Ronin and the new Ronin M? The main thing is size and carrying capacity. The Ronin M weighs only about five pounds, so it's much lighter than the original Ronin, but the trade-off is that we'll only carry about eight pounds in terms of a camera. So, a DSLR with a lens on it is totally under the weight limit, and that should work just fine. But if you want to go any bigger than that, say a C300, you're going to need to go to the original Ronin. Um, it's also important to remember that the weight needs to include all of your accessories. So if you're using a cage, a larger battery, a uh, transmitter for a wireless follow focus or wireless video, you're going to need to get that all onto the gimbal stabilizer and that's all going to add weight. And so even if your camera sneaks in under that weight limit, you may need the larger one to be able to use the accessories with it as well. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us before your rental so we can make sure we get you set up correctly. And if you have any questions about gimbal stabilizers or Ronins in general, please feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email. We always love to talk gear, and uh, thanks very much for watching.